Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Kara Suboy, joined by senior writer Josh Lowenson. And today we're talking about the category of smart watches. Last night, Samsung revealed that they actually are working on a smart watch product, which is... This is crazy. Kind of <laughs> that they would reveal so much, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a product that does not exist yet. And they say, hey, guess what, we're working on one. Yeah, um, guess what competition. The other funny thing is that it's 2013 and we're talking about watches being cool again. How did this happen? <laughs> right, who even wears a watch? Oh. That's kind of a watch. Nike's doing them. That's why. Right. Because a combination of a watch and a fitness band, which a lot of people are doing. Yeah. So I, the big rumor here is that this would be possibly a companion device, something you'd have if you already had a smartphone, um, something that could connect to the internet but wouldn't need all that equipment on it. You know, it uses your smartphone. Um, we've already seen products like that from companies like Pebble. Uh, obviously, this ties into... Uh, products, uh, it ties into your smartphone to use some of that same data and sync over data. Samsung, however, has built smartwatches in the past. They haven't been available here in the U.S. and they've been really expensive. Yeah, so these were six $700 devices in Europe released in 1999 and 2009. And um, those were really just kind of like this weird amalgam of like a smartwatch and cell phone in one. Uh -huh. And it didn't work because it was too expensive. Um, it wasn't a great watch. It wasn't a great smartphone. Uh, and it was too expensive, and people just didn't buy them. Right. So what do you think makes them think they can do it this time? I guess, like what you said, slimming it down, stripping it down a bit. Yeah, and I think Samsung's also learned a lot about um, what people want, I mean, from their products. They kind of have this tendency to throw out a lot of stuff and see what sticks. Hmm. Uh, we saw that with the Galaxy Note. You know, this is the first phone, like, in recent years with a stylus that's really done well, you know? Like, yeah. Like, it's kind of rebirthed that idea that came from the Palm Pilot. So we can't talk about watch wars without talking about some of the Apple rumors that Apple perhaps is designing their own watch. And these are just rumors, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the basic idea is that there are 100 people somewhere working at Apple, um, presumably that some of the same folks that are working on iOS and what we have on the iPhone and the iPad, um, creating some wearable technology. You know, whether it's a watch or some sort of armband, uh, you know, we're not really sure yet. But the whole idea is to really expand that ecosystem mm -hmm. from MP3 players, tablets, mm -hmm. and smartphones. I mean, the, there's so much room for growth there. Uh, yeah. At least that's what analysts think. They think there's like billions left to spend. Oh, all right. We'll see. Watch war just heating up. Thank <laughs> you so much, senior writer Josh Lowenson. I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.